I'll do this whole set. Woo! That's a good set. Sick. I'm I'm JJ Wessels and uh, I'm a contractor. <laughs> That's probably the easiest way to put it. Like, surfing and art are two things that I really care a ton about. They're kind of like part of who I am at this point. And so, um, yeah, I think depending on where my inspiration is and what I'm doing in that current time, like it lends to a bit of, I guess what I offer to like whoever it is I'm working with. You know, like if it's photography, I think that has a lot to do with the people I'm around. I mean, you're not just shooting photos of yourself. So like it's subject matter, trips, and a lot of that came from traveling and being around other people and bringing a camera just to like document you know, those memories. So that's kind of like maybe where that started and then it kind of grew as I had more time to do that. And now it's kind of, I think currently in the phase I'm in, it's, it's like 60, 40, I said surf more than I shoot. Um, but 40% of the time I'm, I'm pretty engaged in trying to create something that I could bring home. I think that's like the biggest thing for me in creating an art. It's like, I feel like we all have this natural, naturally, where it's like if you're just stuck and it's a very easy groove to get caught up in, but you can grow through that and you're inspired by just like someone else's work, then you go, oh wow, like, when you start understanding the process, you really have a respect for what the product is, the result. You know, I shoot a photo of a surfer, of a friend, and if I print it and someone's interested in it, like really what I want them to take away is like, this is like, there's like freedom in this, you know? There's like a cultural freedom in what we do. Like, a lot of this world doesn't get to experience that. So we're really, really fortunate in that sense. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'll pull my desk out this way sometimes and just like when I'm working on those cartoons, those little characters, like I'll do a lot of this stuff out here, like I'll bring the 3D printer outside. The hard part is building it in the computer. I kind of like, I hand paint them and then from there I'll dip them in resin and then let that cure and then like I'll come with a pen next, kind of like stippling or kind of like spend a little time like kind of adding detail and then put some more resin on it and then yeah it's kind of done. I think the rain crew like for me I mean it's just rad to be amongst a group that's so creative. I just see this like I don't know the synergy between the brand and who I am and like the photography and storyline of being handmade. I just resonate with that like for me working with my hands is a huge part of my life so, I, so it's just a good partnership. I'm super stoked to have like such a great opportunity and Look forward to seeing whatever like we can do together, you know? I, I think style for me is something that like, I don't know, it, it's, it's so contagious. It's really cool to be around someone who really like is comfortable with like what they're into, you know? It influences you in a way that makes you want to create something. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I don't know, I, I think just being content. There's like a, it's like a Bible scripture. It talks about like godliness with contentment is great gain. My dad actually told me that like when I was a kid, he's like, you know, just be a good person, like be content. And there's a lot in that, you know? I mean, even if you're not like a spiritual person and you're just like, wow, like I don't need to have like everything that the world is pushing you to have. I think where I'm at personally, it's more about like making decisions that allow me to have time as opposed to you know like spending my time trying to consume and get more so i don't really know that i've ever been happy like chasing more things you know